Hello and welcome back to a new clarinet lesson. Today we will approach our first classical repertoire piece for clarinet. The composition we are going to play is Au Clair de Lune from Jean-Baptiste Lully. Studying this song, we will focus on the middle register of the clarinet, as well as the articulation and the phrasing. So, grab your clarinet and let's dive in. Okay, before we get started, what we need to do is some warm-up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just check the link in the description to my previous lesson. Okay, while doing our long notes, remember, focus on good posture and a good sound. Now that you're warmed up, let's look at the song. This charming for song has a beautiful and memorable melody. Let's listen to a recording of the song to get an overall idea of the melody and the style. As we can notice, the song focuses on the middle register of our instrument, also called the register of Chalumeau. What we need to focus while studying is a correct fingering on the instrument as well as a correct airflow. You have to start slowly and then increase the speed of the song as you get more comfortable. But remember, you have to aim for a smooth and expressive sound. Now I'll play the melody with two different speeds so that we can practice together. Great job! Now, what we need to do is to work on the musicality of our performance. To do so, we have to work on our articulation, phrasing and dynamics. What I mean by articulation is the use we do of the tongue while playing. We can play staccato or legato. We can also play a half staccato and a more round staccato. And by phrasing, I mean the accent and the pronunciation we give to every single note. Finally, by dynamic, what I mean is piano and forte, crescendo and diminuendo. Now, let's play. I will give you three recordings of the melody. On every track, I focus on one of the aspects of music interpretation. What I need you to do is to listen to each track before you play, and then, reading the sheet, trying to imitate what you heard. Ok, now it's time to play. Great job! Now you have a more complete understanding of the musical material you are working on, as well as a good practice method for when you want to learn a new song. Remember, the aspects we worked on are the fingering for the melody, that must be smooth and relaxed, and also the musical interpretation. Now you have an overview knowledge of the music, as well as an effective method to study the song. Now, to step up your game, what you need to do is to focus only on the passages that you found most difficult. Focus, as we did before, on a clear sound and a clear articulation. Usually, the most difficult passages are those with the most difficult intervals or articulation for the fingers. 
If you want to boost your study session, I suggest you to record yourself while playing. In that way, you can listen to your mistakes and focus on what is not working. Great job today! I hope to see you in the next video. If you have any question, just leave a comment below or visit our website in the description. Bye!